What's up, guys? Welcome back to episode 26 of Dire Beast. I feel like I've missed something. Oh, yeah, I beat you. Yes, that's what I missed. Um, yes, welcome back. Welcome back. Join me at night time. Very fitting to hide my crime. I'm going to slaughter some of these chickens. Because I simply do not need them right now. I have a fair few stacks of eggs. Let's say that. So, uh, for now, these chickens can go bye-bye. At least some of them can. <clears throat> because I do not need all these chickens. Uh, this sword may have slowness on it, but it ain't exactly slow. I think that's got a thing. Um, mining fatigue 3, I think it is. Nice hat. Seems that hats reload whenever you uh, load a world. They just sort of randomise. I think I might keep a couple of chickens in here. The problem before was that I had too many chickens and they were glitching out. Okay, let me guess. The This drum is clogged. Fucking Ars Magica! I hate that. I'm going to start Ars Magica probably next episode. Because, um, well, for one, it's a magic mod that was developed from the same source material as Thorncraft, so I've always loved Ars Magica. And for two, <coughs> um, wow. Okay, there's a lot of feathers and shit around here. Right, that's empty. Now let's see if this, this side isn't cleared out. Man, hoppers aren't good at taking massive flows of items all at once. You learn something new every day. Uh, oh, hopefully that one could be harvested. Put that back. <coughs> That's still going on. Right, so, um, yes, we are doing industrial craft. That's what we're doing. In here. Um, I ran a crafting terminal up here just so I could have proper access to my station and build stuff as well. So, um, we need to start off with something to get power, so some sort of generator. Uh, every kind of generator, windmill, solar, water, geothermal, they all require a base generator, which is iron furnace, iron plates, rechargeable battery, which is a bit of cable, some casing, not that different from how it used to be. Um, I do like how there's two different recipes. You have the uh, Industrial Craft 2 plate recipe, which is twat and ingot with a hammer, or you have the Calclavia core, which is craft four of them into a plate. It seems a little expensive to me, but whatever. <coughs> uh, we are going for the cheap recipe. We need iron plates, not those iron plates. Those iron plates. That'll do for now. And I have no iron furnaces, that's what I need. <laughs> make some furnaces and then make some iron furnaces why the fuck do I have Calclavia Cal core plates seriously when did I make them that is such a waste hmm. that's why because those ones weren't in there so we just uh Take a couple of these, and then doop, those and those, and get rid of that. Seriously, where did I get those from? There's such a waste. And uh, yeah, that's the basics of making a generator. Now I want to turn one of these into a geothermal, so I need iron item casings, which I believe is just hit a plate with a hammer, isn't it? Ah, get in there. Do, do, do. Oh, wow, okay, so you now use those plates to make everything. Maybe it's shapeless. It is shapeless. So just make a stack of those because why not? And what am I making? I am making geothermal. Uh, empty cell. Oh, great, I need a metal former for that. Okay, let's build a metal former then. 
Macerator, extractor, compressor, oh god, canning machine, miner, pump, magnetizer. Do, 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 do. I don't know what the metal former looks like. Pattern storage, scanner, that's some safe trader mat, energy mat. Where the fuck's the metal former? Do, 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 do. There it is, metal former. Okay, so we need toolboxes, which is bronze, so we need bronze plates, not the Calcalavia Cal core ones. So, make a stack of those. Oh, we're out of hammers. Typical. Let's be, make some more hammers. I probably didn't need to make that many, seeing as I'm about to make the machine which does the hammers job for me. What was I doing? I was making these, wasn't I? Yes. There we go. And then I need to hit these. 16 should be enough. And to go with that, I need a chest. There we go. Two of those. Toolboxes are kind of interesting if you want to actually use them. You can put tools in them. Which, I mean, makes a lot of sense. Uh, but they're not really all that useful. It's sort of like the old bag of holding thing. Where they're just a bit shit. And the metal former just requires an electronic circuit. Ah, we're out of copper cable. Ah, we're out of copper. Um, so I need the electronic onic circuit. I do have a couple of them, to be fair. Really? Wow. Okay, yeah, that doesn't go far, does it? And then a machine casing, which we're going to need a couple of. And then put my electronic circuit. We have a metal former, which takes 32 of you per tick. Which means I'm going to need to down convert this, so I'm going to need a transformer. Um, MV transformer? No. I want the LV transformer. Uh, isn't it dash transformer? Yes, there it is. Ah yes, that's not too hard to make at all. Do, 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 do. Damn it. Uh, so let's just make make more of that. One of those. Oh, about a tin cable. Maybe I've already got some. I do. Awesome. And I'll just stick that there. Low transformer, and then if I put it like that, that side's facing me, which I believe is not what I want. I think that's the high side, so I want that facing that direction. I hope this doesn't blow up. That would really fucking suck. Um, generator, and give me a stack of redwood. 750 in a generator. I would rather put charcoal in there. There we go, it's getting energy. So generators ain't very fast. Um, so let's put it this way. If you don't know about industrial craft and energy speeds and stuff through the wires and um, transference through blocks, ugh. It's a complete bastard. Let's put it this way. If I didn't put that there and just put this straight down there, it would be getting too much energy. It would blow up and kill both of these. Which really sucks. Um, so I'm trying to make a geothermal generator. Oh, wow. Well, what the fuck? Oh, of course. Thermal expansion. Geothermal generator. Um, I need the empty cells, which is... 
a tin plate extruded. Okay, I've got tin plates, don't I? <laughs> that I do. Put that in there. And, oh, God, it takes forever. Really? You have to extrude to make iron fence? I mean, I get that you can make wire and stuff, which is apparently more efficient to make it like this. Um, ah, the only thing I'm missing is the generator. There we go, geothermal, which outputs 20 EU per tick. Uh, I'm just going to snag that. Put that up there. <laughs> and uh, tank. Because absolutely every mod can be powered from lava. <laughs> yes, lava. And it goes in middle buckets as well, and it hates all eight of them. What is that noise I'm hearing? Is that like some kind of enemy? Oh, might be just be sheep eatings. You know, I still haven't got a second ender lily seed from all the time I've been uh, growing these ender lilies. Kind of a shame, really. I want a second seed. I want to get another seed so I can start growing my ender lily farm bigger. I want a fully automatic one. That'd be fucking awesome. So there we go. Um, just because every single technology mod can be powered from lava, it's time I'm going to power this from lava. And it's twice as efficient as a generator as well, a 20 EU a tick. Uh, yes, output 20 EU a tick. I could have just put this down like straight on top of this and powered it like that, and that would have worked. But, uh, you know, I don't want to do that. Did I? Did I not want to do that? I can't remember if I wanted to do that. Why do I still have a Oh yeah, I remember. Right, so, back to IC2 machines. IC2 machines. We need a couple of things. First off, we need a macerator or macerator if you're a retard. And then we want an extractor, ideally. Uh, do, do, do. We're going to need some of these. And a bit more wood. For some reason, I have no wood in there. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. nope, I want extractor. Lovely, that's an extractor for me there. And I'm going to need a compressor. And these machines are very basic and they do what they say. Uh, after compressor, uh, I do not. I want an induction furnace, that's what I want. I need an advanced machine casing for that. Ah, which is going to require a little bit of effort. So the machine casing or machine block is um, sort of like the machine frame from Thumb Expansion. Sorry, I'm sorry if you can hear those dogs outside. They're about three streets away, but I can hear them, so you guys probably can as well. So, sorry, yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I want to build an induction furnace, so I need, in, I need carbon mesh, carbon fiber, coal dust, okay? And um, I'm going to need power for these tree machines. So, uh, for now, I'm just going to do macerator there. And then get some wire. Um, I think it's cable wire. Um, cable. It is cable. Gold holds 512. Copper holds 128. Well, these machines will only hold 32. So, tin cable will do. Now I'm just going to go into the wall behind here and do this. And uh, I know it doesn't need to go up there, but I'm going to do it anyway. And this way everything gets power. And then I've got room for one more thing I can add on there. But I want to get basic IC set up and then work on something else. Because... Um, a couple of episodes back, we put this guy in here, and uh, the problem with this guy, he's slow as fuck. 
Like seriously, just way too slow to be useful. So we need to fix that. And to fix that, oh, we've already got coal dust. 2,000 of it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where all that coal dust came from. But okay. Are you shitting me? You can't use pulverized coal. It's coal dust. Five year. Yeah, what, where is it on here? It should be on here for raw carbon fiber. Carbon. Raw carbon mesh. So coal dust. It can only be co no. It can be pulverized coal. But it's a shaped crafting recipe. Seriously? No? Right there. And it won't actually craft it. Well, that sucks massive dicks. I'm going to need some coal now. A um, couple of stacks of coal. And the thing is, the macerator... Slow. It's actually running right now, believe it or not. That is how goddamn slow that thing is. Uh, you can upgrade the machines with upgrades, uh, like a uh, overclocker, which I think it might be advantageous to make. Um, I don't think, yeah, I'm out of uh, circuits as well. So the copper cable, I'm assuming you just put copper ingots in there. So if I took a stack of copper ingots and chucked them in the metal former on extrusion, this thing's pretty slow on its own as well. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, uninsulated copper cable. That's not too bad. And, uh. What am I trying to make? Yeah, I need an electronic circuit. But that did use basically all. That, no, that did not even basically. That did actually just use all my copper. So, uh, there's another six. Chuck that in there, turn it into that, chuck it back in, do that, lovely, I have all those. Now I need coolant cells, so some sort of water surrounded by tin. That seems a little expensive. Or I can make actual coolant with water and lapis dust and a canning machine. Okay, tin plates it is. Tin plates, lovely. Actually, we'll just do this. Do, do, do. Clear that. Now, do I have a bucket of water in here? I do. It gets me one. I need several. Um, do I have any more buckets? Yes. So, let's see. I have aqueous accumulators somewhere. Feeding stuff. What what microscopic accumulator is feeding? Uh, this for one. That work. Hang on a minute, where'd the other buckets go? There we go. I thought something was amiss there. I was just like, hang on a fucking minute. So what I'm, uh, I'm planning on doing with AE is to have um, one of these crafting terminals in pretty much every room. Just so that uh, I can. Oh, by the way, um, I mentioned I was having a problem with AE drawing so much power. Um, basically, what happened was uh, because the pack updated, it was sitting on applied energistics, but the AE per tick there and the AE there both said MJ for me. So I thought it was using like 2000 uh, RF per tick, but it was actually only using. It's normal amount, maybe a little bit more, because I added some more shit. Uh, three, four, five, six. Pop those back in there. And we will make a couple of overclocker upgrades. Decreases process time to 70%, increases power to 160%. So, if you don't get what that means, it makes it go 30% faster, but it costs more per... So right now it's going 51%. So it's only it's literally doubled in speed, but it has gone up 2.56 times in power. So overclockers are interesting if you uh, 
make a lot of them. They can go in pretty much any of these machines that have these upgrade slots on the side. Uh, there's various other things that can go in there as well. Man, this waiting for coal dust sucks. Duke. Oh, come on, coal dust. Are you actually... Is it just like that? It fucking is, isn't it? Let me see something a second. Uh, pulverized coal. I fucking thought so. Any eye is wrong. Damn you. Oh, this is Kyber. Re, is it? It is. Hmm. So this recipe does not have a fourth piece in there, but it takes four pieces to make. That is so fucking annoying. But then again, it's not that bad. Um, what do I need? I need like, I think I just need the uh, the two of them. Make the raw carbon mesh. Put it in the compressor. Stick the overclockers in there as well, just to speed it up a little bit. And then the other thing I need for an advanced machine casing is advanced alloy. Um, Tinker's alloy ingot. What, pray tell, is that? It's bronze. Okay. Um, door alloy name. Nice. Advanced alloy, that's what I need. And, oh, there's not multiple ways of making it. Surprise, surprise. So it's just bronze, iron, and tin plates. I probably have that stuff sitting around. Yeah. Uh, you do get two per recipe, which isn't that bad. Because I need two of them. And then, using this, I can make an advanced machine block. Another thing I really hate about the uh, uh, industrial craft machines is they're so slow. This is, this is running at half its normal speed. It's half as slow, or twice as fast, if you don't want to sound like a retard when you say it. Um, I need a casing, advanced machine casing. I don't have a normal one. Craft a normal one. Make an advanced one. Sweet. And then use the advanced one for minor pattern storage. Oh my god, it's got lasers and crystal memories. That's so cool. <laughs> oh. That's what I want to build. Induction furnace. So I need an electric furnace. Which requires... Um, It's funny how many um, various mods have the same machines with different names, like the induction furnace. I know, I know at least four mods where that um, appears. Uh, what am I looking for? Rubber. Yeah. So I need a normal furnace. Which ones? I need one of these. Normal furnace. Nope. I need the iron furnace. There we go. I really do love having the AE system, not having to go look through a million chests. And then, uh, oh, where'd my furnace go? Did I not make it? There we go. And then just make that. Yeah! And here we have something a little bit special. Uh, it is an interesting machine because it can take 128. Uh, EU per tick, that makes it more interesting than these bastards who can only take 32. But uh, that's not the reason I want it. I don't want it because it can take more energy. I want it because of what it does. Now, if I just put it next to it, it won't. No, I did not think so. Well, I'm just going to stick it there for now. And what you want to do with this machine is... Once you've got a stable power supply, you just want to drop a lever by it, just like this. And you'll see it turns on. So what this machine does is actually store heat. 
and the hotter it is, the faster it cooks things. So uh, let's take a stack of sand here, and it also has two spaces in its inventory. So you'll notice that at 2%, 3%, it's very slow, but it's actually getting faster every single time that percentage goes up. And uh, you don't even have to be cooking stuff in it to make that go up if you don't want to. And what I want to do is, basically when this thing is at full energy, uh, full heat, 100%, it flies. It cooks like a stack in about 30 seconds, if that. So I want to actually replace the redstone furnace down here with one of those. Because the redstone furnace itself is just a little shit. No offence, but it's just... It, you know, it's not advanced machine material. But what that does mean is I'm going to have to get uh, industrial craft power down into there. So, I mean, I've got this little setup right here. Two blocks, and that's as much power as you could ever need. Which is pretty cool, actually. I, I like that. I've I never really got to use ender tanks properly before, and I really like them. They're seriously powerful. Oh, I crafted a spare redstone furnace, so I don't even need this one. Well, just drop some other stuff in there. I am low on food. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, applied logistics is so good. It's like the best mod ever. I love it. Just drop stuff in. No need to even worry about it. It's so good. So it's got to 21% already. Let's grab some sand and see how fast it goes now. There you go. That's faster than a normal furnace. And it's keeping its heat. The only thing about this, you can't overclock it to make it run faster or anything. It sounds like there's something jumping around on wood. Which isn't me, because uh, I'm floating. I do still make a noise when I walk across it, which is interesting, actually. you think that wouldn't happen. So I know I probably just spent, like, 30 seconds just in complete silence staring at a wall, and you're just, you guys are just like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, <laughs> yes, I was listening. Sounds... Like a bit of a weird one, doesn't it? Ah, oh, I spent many a time listening. Mm, yes, indeed. So, uh, basic setup going here. We've got the metal former to automatically form our metals. A little slow, but it does the job. And apparently it's more uh, efficient in terms of materials. I wonder what you can do in the rolling recipe. Fuel rod. Nope, that's all in extruding. You can cut. Fair enough. Um, oh, I see. Cutting makes cable out of plates. Okay, I'm rolling. Turns metals into plates and plates into item casings. See, could you imagine how annoying all this would have been to do if I'd started with... Uh, Industrial craft. If I hadn't started with thermal expansion, I would have had to be constantly worrying about the cables. About by the way, the cables have energy loss. So uh, yeah, every X amount of cables, depending on what cable it is, it loses energy. I am much more in love with thermal expansion these days. I like it so much more. Especially because uh, it's some of the stuff is a little bit more pricey. And I like that. Like, uh, the induction smelter and the energetic infuser actually take energy cells to make. Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, it's probably about time. Yeah, just about. I want to go check how my quarry is doing in the nether. Because I set up the water so that it would obsidianize anything that it went past. And I have not been back. Um, okay, I've drained almost two resonant energy cells. It is completely full of water, and it has not really gone down very far. 
but it has probably been picking up a lot of netherrack, which is kind of what I want. I'm interested to see how much netherrack I get back in return for placing the quarry in here. Uh, I also, if you can probably see on the map, I went through this wall here and hollowed this area out by hand. And then I just put the wall back using the uh, builder's wand. That thing is so useful. And this is where I decided to actually place my thing. Ooh, hello. That's a fireball. It is. And I can do this with it. <laughs> You're angry at me. And you guys are still stupid enough that I can make you do this. <laughs> oh crap, I've lost it. Oh no. Where was my up bit? There it is. Ha ha. I love playing around with all the random mobs. Some very interesting cave systems appearing on my map. I actually don't know why it won't let me turn that off. Sounds like there's a ghast in here. There is! Shit! Interesting. Um, I don't have mob griefing turned off, but his explosion didn't break these. Interesting indeed. Um, you know what guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, I will be back next episode, and I'm probably going to do Ars Magica. Or a bit more AE stuff. So, thanks for watching, I hope you've been enjoying this series, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as well. Peace out!